Hey Mallards, this week I am participating in a phone call show called the Ministry of Mundane Mysteries. It is a week long show where they call you for about 15 minutes uh, every night for six days. So mine starts today, it's Monday right now, but I'm not gonna post this video until the show is over. Uh, before you do the call, they make you fill out a form where you mention what department your mystery would come under. So it's like the Department of Lost Items or the Department of Paranormal Coincidences or Paranormal Activity or like coincidences, missed connections. And there's a fifth one that I don't remember. Mine was coincidences. And then you name your case. And mine is uh, the case of the open parking spot because at the garage where Mel and I park for work, on the third floor there's a parking spot that's very near the elevators that is open whenever Mel is driving and needs to park and is not open whenever I am driving and need to park. And in this parking spot, like on the wall in front of it, it's just like a concrete garage, there is a picture or drawing maybe, but like a realistic looking drawing of a woman just like on the wall. And it's like cut out. It looks, rather than like a sticker, it looks like newspaper that somebody like put and then shellacked over. Um, but this is the spot that Mel can always get and I never can. So I thought that that would be a perfect mystery for the Ministry of Mundane Mysteries to solve is why can she get that parking spot and I can't. So I had my first call today where I met my caseworker and he asked a bunch of questions, some of which seemed related to the case and some of which didn't, but that's part of the deal. As he explained to me, sometimes you never know what details might be important. So the questions might seem unrelated, but they're probably integral to figuring out the mystery. And it was just really fun. That was a nice way to start the whole thing and I'm already having a very enjoyable time. And I don't know where things are gonna go, but I'm gonna have a fun 15 minute call every single day this week and I'll keep you updated. Day two of the Ministry of Mundane Mysteries and things took a turn. So instead of a call from my investigator today, I received a call from a woman named Rebecca whose cousin works at the Ministry of Mundane Mysteries and she heard about my case and is encountering something similar and wanted to let me know a little bit more about the things she's encountered and what she has found out in her research and to see if that would share that with my investigator so that we could work on things together and maybe get some information passed along and get this mystery solved, which I thought was really interesting. A very unexpected turn. It's also weird to get a call from like a different character on the second night. And so I think that that's really cool. And now I'm really looking forward to night three to see if I'm gonna be back. I assume my investigator will call again, but who knows? Like maybe there'll be other people involved in this mystery and that's really fun. And this is such an interesting and strange concept. They ask a lot of questions and they sort of weave that back in. But it is, even though it's just 15 minutes, like I'm having a blast. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and I can't wait to see how the entire mystery of the parking spot unravels. It was really cool. Rebecca is also having similar issues. She's got a parking spot that appears and disappears and she thinks it's related to a group of fictional characters trying to break through to our world that call themselves fear. So I'll let you know what I discover about all of that when I get on my call again tomorrow. Ministry of Monday Mysteries Night 3. I met another interesting character. This person works for FEAR, which is the organization of fictional characters that Rebecca told me about. And first, she accused me of spreading vicious lies and rumors as if I told anyone. I mean, I've told you, but I literally haven't released the video yet, so I have not told anyone. And then told me that in return for telling the ministry that I was no longer interested in investigating this parking spot and to like close the whole thing out, I would get essentially a cure for writer's block, which was an intriguing offer, 
But as you know, I already went to the midnight marketplace and I'm going to exchange my childhood journal on the next full moon for a pen that will get rid of writer's block. So I didn't really need that. So instead I said, mm, I don't really think I can agree to this because you're an organization whose name is fear. People have a reason to be suspicious and uh, I really liked my investigator and I want to hang out with him again. So sorry, no dice, don't want to take the deal. Then she got really angry, you know, as villains do and uh, hung up on me. So it was the shortest call I've had so far and yet one of the most intriguing. Day four of the Ministry of Mundane Mysteries and I finally talked to my investigator again, Ren, and I told him a little bit about what I've learned the last two days and he told me a little bit about what he's been investigating including the fact that he went to look at other parking lots to see if it's a thing that's happening around parking lots. And at a parking lot, he saw a small, like Victorian child on a tricycle. And so he followed the child to a mausoleum and then he thought he should maybe call me because he was gonna go into the mausoleum. And I tried to tell him that this was a bad idea. But he went anyway, and when he got inside the door, the mausoleum was bigger on the inside. First sign that things were not so good. And then there was fear, as in the group that tried to recruit me last night, their logo emblazoned on the ground. And now Ren's been taken, which is probably my fault, even though I told him not to go into the mausoleum, but I did tell fear that I wouldn't join them so it like it's maybe my fault i don't know i'll have to see who calls me tomorrow maybe they're gonna ransom ren and i can like get him back i don't know but this show has gotten insane it is the craziest phone call show i have done so far without question Night five of the Ministry of Mundane Mysteries, yeah. I received a call from the customer satisfaction department at Lush. Incredible. They wanted to talk about the products I use and how I felt about them. And then mentioned that not only can Lush help with scent and that their natural ingredients are like better for your body, they make your skin nicer and your hair nicer, but also, and you guys may not know this because you didn't talk to the same customer satisfaction department that I've talked to, but Lush can actually make you lucky. Oh, yeah, I yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a science behind it. Part of it is that you feel better mm. and therefore you take opportunities that are afforded to you and you notice things more because you're like in a better mood. Uh, but also just generally, they make you lucky. And if you ingest, Lush products, just small amounts, which I have done. Mm -hmm. You will double your luck. Oh, wow. Uh, so I received encouragement to ingest my Lush products. I mean, it won't kill you. That's true. And it did make me lucky enough to be laid off by Lush and never uh, called back. So, <laughs> so maybe. Uh, and so I was encouraged, but told that I shouldn't do it under pressure. Mm. because if I don't think about it and make the decision on my own, like the luck might go back the other way, but I should consider consuming my Lush products to increase my luck. And that will allow me to do things like meet people who are good for me or find better items on the side of the road or perhaps just spitballing here might make me lucky enough to find good parking spots. So what's happening is that Mel's shampoo is dripping into her mouth. We just don't know that Mel... <laughs> <laughs> bathes with her mouth open <laughs> and that's why she's getting lucky. the wasabi shampoo into her mouth and it's why she's lucky and finds parking spots uh, so this might get me parking spots however be warned just as i was finishing my call mm -hmm. there was the sound of a door breaking down oh my and a man said it's the ministry of mundane mysteries <gasps> and then she was like i'm on the phone and I was like, what's going on? And she was like, oh, thank you very much for calling. It's been great. And hung up. So the plot thickens. What a wild time. And tomorrow night is my final call. We'll see how this all wraps up. I just had my final phone call with the Ministry of Mundane Mysteries. And my mystery was solved. They figured out that the organization, well, 
what they figured out was that fear was correct. Oh, I talked to my investigator again, Ren. He did not die while going into uh, that mausoleum. So like, that's good news. Uh, the fear organization is real, but apparently it's made of mostly reformed villains, despite their threat to, you know, end my life if I didn't join them. So that's questionable, but I'm willing to roll with it. However, it turns out that Rebecca, the girl I talked to on day two, just had found in me a kindred spirit. Uh, she actually encountered me uh, once in the elevator uh, on the way to the office and just thought that my desire for dark stories matched up with the things that she enjoys. Uh, and... So she's actually been dressing up as a creepy character on the days that Mel drives because she figured out our schedule so that that parking spot was open. She just keeps other people from taking it so that Mel could get that parking spot every time. And so now the mystery has been solved and she said that she will no longer do that. But obviously she's put a lot of energy out into the world. And so who knows what's going to happen with that parking spot now. There's no way to tell. Uh, but I am definitely going to highly recommend the Ministry of Mundane Mysteries to anyone who needs any sort of case solved. And I'm pretty sure that they still have cases available uh, for next week. And I don't know how long they're going to run, but if you've got a mundane mystery that you need the answer to, the Ministry of Mundane Mysteries has your back. So check out a link down there to their website, and good luck solving your case. I'll see you tomorrow.